This looks like something. Triangle puzzle. Hey, three people. The history of our species has been defined by material struggles. Every war, every revolution in the end came down not to ideology, but to the distribution of resources. Our history is the history of struggle. The merchant against the king, the worker against the factory owner, the citizen against the mayor. We have always known that the pursuit of material wealth is spiritually hollow. And yet thousands of generations have been forced by material necessity to dedicate their lives to it. We are the children of hunger and thirst. But empire is no more. We have beaten our swords into plowshares, and the lion and the wolf have ceased. All are rich, and wealth is no more. So, what happens next? What do we create? What do we become when we are no longer driven by material necessity? The ancient mystics believed that spirituality required poverty. But I believe that it is only in universal prosperity that it may truly begin. Now comes the Age of Miracles. <laughs> All right, that was something that I wanted them to talk about so badly in the base game. They have so much of this, this stuff about philosophy and uh, are, he, are we stepping out of our station or are we worthy of life and expansion? There's so much of that that they just didn't get to the mechanistic driving causes of who gets to be rich, who gets to survive, who gets to put their legacy into the future. Which I'm glad that they they do they, they did talk about it a couple times. Now and then. It was brought up briefly. But there was just so much focus on this. Oh, is is humanity worthy to be alive and continue? And I I, I just got sick of that. Um but yeah, the only caveat that I would put on that is that it's not just material resources, but also skills and knowledge. That's important too. So knowledge is um, much more accessible now due to the age of the internet. But also you have to know how to find it and not find a bunch of garbage. You know, and we still have, we have not cracked the problem of propaganda. There is, are, you know, it is still so easy for interests to persuade people to believe things and to serve their power. You know, that's why you should turn on an ad block. Unless you're watching my videos, then then, then have your ad block be off. Because <laughs> I get money if, if the ads are shown on the videos. Not very much. Not enough that it individually matters, so get an ad block. And then politicians, of course, and... and uh, ideologies, you know, the culture and ideology that we are grown up in. I'm talking about capitalism, hint, hint, wink, wink, as subtle as possible. Why do I need to be subtle? <laughs> but it, I, I only mean that about capitalism right now because I myself live in a very capitalist society and most people just ignore it and are like, oh yeah, that's how the entire world and all of humanity works. It's like, no. That's how this society works. You gotta think. But yeah, I'm glad that that was brought up, because I feel like more of that idea would have made this game a lot stronger, and I hope they put more of it into Talos 3. Multiplicity. There are certain greetings, friends and fellow citizens. I would like to inquire as to the possibility of existing as a single consciousness in multiple bodies simultaneously. I would very much like to exist in this fashion, but I'm not certain whether it's feasible. In theory, it is possible, but if you want to be one continuous consciousness, there are some strict technical limitations, largely involving distance and the speed at which information can travel. Hard limits are hard limits. Not if you have wormholes. Ever think of that? Well, maybe the wormholes have, like, lots of residual heat. That would put limits on. There's more to it than that. You would also need a very different sort of mind than what we have, capable of dealing with all this input and output in parallel, which is certainly feasible, but should be done carefully. Yeah, maybe something for another hundred years in the future. 
Finally, an application of all this new technology that will actually expand someone's mind. But tell me, what made you come up with this idea? Thank you, Nathan Linkers. L what? Liner L Linux. What? Has that been spelled that way the whole time? No, I played the entire game. And I didn't realize that this was Linux, not Linkers. Ah! That's so encouraging. As to your question, dear Helga, I don't think it's something I can answer in entirely rational terms. Let me simply say that I'm in love with the world and wish to see more of its beauty. Here's another possibility that you kind of have to give up the idea of continuity of consciousness for. But what if you make a bunch of copies of yourself and then you go about and explore the world and they're each individual, they're not connected, they don't have to be connected. And then after a certain amount of time you all come back and then you link up, you like uh, upload your personalities into one of them. So you become one person again. That's an option. And then if for whatever reason one part of you wants to stay separate, then you'd have to figure something out. Maybe they'd just go off and become somebody else. Again, it's the what counts as you and what doesn't count as you is, well, it's all up to how we define it. The helping hand. But yeah, giving up the idea of the continuity of consciousness brings breaks open so many awesome sci-fi ideas. All right, we don't need this fan. Why not? I don't know. But we can remove it so we shall. <laughs> what else do we have access to? Uh, we can walk through here. Whee! Oh, that just puts us out here. Nothing new. Right, you need a box if you want to move these. Can I connect this to anything? Vaguely. Garbagely. Am I missing something? There have been loud airplanes flying outside my- oh, that's what I'm missing. Flying outside my room for the past couple days. I thought it was an air show at first, but those are usually over in a couple hours, right? Alright, this is open. Now I can bring a second self in here. There's no items out here though. Uh, there is an item out here. Let's go. Both of me. So now I can come in here. I need to bring my other self. Both hands off the controller, so I can do that. I have a corded mouse, so sometimes when I let go, it drifts. We can take it out! Yay! And then we can bring ourselves out. We don't need that spot anymore. The fan doesn't even come out. Alright, now what do we want to open? We can open the red... Then we can't open the red thing. There's nothing red to open. We turn this on. We need the fan, that's fine. What if we put this in here? Yay! Stairs! Um... I guess this is so we can see the red thing over there. Yeah, yeah. We bring something up here and put the red thing over there. All right, um, we need another item. We can open that door. Uh, come back here, my altar self. 
stand here. And what? Oh yeah, this. And just for good measure. Yay, a box. And then a fan thing here. Where would this launch it? I don't know. Not up there. It would just launch it out here, right? What is even the point of this? Where's the exit? The exit's up there. Okay, that's the point of it. It will launch us to the exit. Alright, so... Alright, um... Can I just... Oh, this is how you power this, isn't it? Okay. I don't need that powered anymore. Alright. Come out here. Uh, no, I do need that powered. Just for a moment. Uh, I can use the box. We are. Hop up here. Now take control. Maybe some of you can see where I'm going. Now we don't need the fan anymore. And now, place the box, grab this, jump. Hello, take my thing. Yay. Uh, here we go. Start with this one. Oh, we need... We need the fan, don't we? Okay, that's fine. Because we don't need the box anymore. Fan go here. And now we stand in here. Take control back. Switch over to the red. Go back. Shucks. It's stupid. <laughs> and now we win. Oh. Nothing new this time? That's okay. We just did the third triangle puzzle. We went that way, there's nothing over there. We have not found any stakes. I'm wondering if they're all up there. We also haven't found Prometheus's flame on this side. Is this a new puzzle? It's the golden puzzle. All right, we need two more puzzles before we can flip the switch. Three more before we're done with this zone. And... More statues? Are there more statues? Are there only six statues? I've seen two sphinxes, but only one of the other two. No. No, we've seen two Pandoras. We've seen two of everything. Right. Right, well, why am I confused? Two of everything. That makes six total. I was expecting nine. Right. Okay. Where's the Where's my next puzzle? Let me go back up here again. Number four. Walk around it just to see if there's anything to find. Doubt it. Yeah, no Sphinx puzzles, whoops. That's fine, now we just have to run around a lot until we find our way back up again. Oh hey, look! Non-Nobis Solum, the question. 
Isn't that, isn't that a phrase that starts with a different word? I don't know what it is. An extract from Thabani J. Calvin's final essay, posted to a news group designated Alt Nomadics, moderated shortly before his death. It's a very harsh reality to face, not only that my life is about to end, but that I'm not satisfied with it. I know I did my best with what I was given, but that's not enough. Needing money to survive, I spent the most significant part of my life writing idiotic software, most of which is already obsolete. I didn't see much of the world. I know that there's a transformational power in experiencing the reality of different places which cannot be replicated by reading about them. To truly know that another place is real changes who you are. I didn't read enough either. Our civilization is growing increasingly disdainful of reading, and I realized far too late how weak and unformed our minds are without reading. There are so many incredible books, and I know that my mind isn't half of what it could have been, and I'm intellectually and spiritually poorer for it. I could go on, but time is a luxury I can no longer afford. What it comes down to is that despite my best efforts, my life was dissatisfying. I did not grow enough. I look at myself and I can feel the absence of the person I should have been. Because a world based on scarcity was a world in which writing crappy software was what I had to do to live at all. There is only one hope left for me. If the theoretical work I've done these last few years has any kind of impact, if it helps build a better world in which people no longer have to waste their lives like I did, then my life will have been worth it. Each generation has to justify the life of the previous until someday it truly pays off. That's the gamble of being human, I guess. Be well, friends. And there's a code down there. The other theories advanced by Thabani J. Calvin and other members of his circle eventually became the basis of the Institute for Applied Nomadics. So that's really hopeful. Because it's a thing where if you feel like your life doesn't have any meaning, it still will. You know, there will be effects that go on into the future. And for that particular fictional character, it was the the starting point for the thing that saved the world, which is not everyone is going to lay the groundwork for saving the world. But the thing is, they didn't know. So they lived, they did their work, and they died not knowing what it would do. And despite that, it ended up paying off in the end. So that's a little bit of hope we can all have. And another thing is just to remember that living is a blessing. And even though we're going, we're all going to die with an infinite number of things undone, it's the things that we do that make our lives worthwhile. The question. We are too often asked, who are you? And too rarely asked, who do you want to be? Are we afraid of the true answer to the latter question? Not enough money, not enough time, not enough power, not enough will? All the lives that we will never lead, a mirage on the horizon, forever out of reach. And we accept it. We call it wisdom, acceptance, letting go, humility. And we ask why? Because we're too wise or cynical to ask such questions even though we're somewhere in a painful place deep inside ourselves that we remember that when we wake up late at night in the panic thinking I'm going to die, I'm going to die, just being this, we know better. We never ask, why is this good enough? More along the same thing. That was kind of powerful. Yeah, I kind of already said my thoughts before I read that and the, my thoughts are the same. All right, now f to find our way back up again for the fifth, fifth time for the first time. Are you the same, uh, Elmer Glue? Elmore? All right, maybe I'll ask your last question soon. I don't know. Maybe I will. They put it in. They made us, they gave us, they knew this would give us completionist. Uh, completionist the feeling of leaving something undone. So let's go. Hello again. Hello again. Did the algorithm glitch out or was that normal? Sorry, is that rude? No, I understand your question. It seems the algorithm is even more complex than we realized. Neath believes that Alexandra Drennan may have designed it to produce more varied results once a base population had been established. Bye. Hmm. Wouldn't that kind of defeat the point, though? I don't know. Because, like, the whole point was you need... You need 
everyone to fail until the independence check is complete. Well, I guess maybe that's just the first person to come to existence. The first person to take the lead needs to pass the independence check. But then everybody after that, not necessarily. This walkway feels like a roller coaster. I found a new puzzle. The Trident Enigma. So we can get both of these actually. Let's go. Box. Button. Now we should be able to get three of them. Or no, it still has to hit this. So this has to stay here. So maybe we can't get to that one. Just barely. Yeah, you guys put it, put it just perfectly so that you can't see around the box and get both of them. Huh. Right now it's a switcher. Nice. But it, this, this doesn't let me take that laser. But I can take this one. Alright, great. Now I need the box. Okay. Uh... Here we go. Keep that one open, too. We hop up here and grab this. Now it looks like we don't have to come back here again. Unless we want to attach to these, because this is the only place we can see it from. But I don't think that's true, because there's these other doors. All right, now we don't have to get through here anymore. We may have to shield through a wall sometime. Oops. Don't want to leave my box. That'd just be running around for a long time. All right, now I want to go... Is this another way? Yeah, that's another way. What about, what if I go this way? Um, I don't know how to go that way. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't know how to go this way. Wait, yes I do. There we go. Shucks. Need another item there. There we go. Now I need another item here. Is that the only way to open this? Seems to be. So it seems we can't open this one yet. Maybe once we get that jammer. So let's go around the outside. Keep this open. Alright, we have so many tools. To open this one, we have to go here. Then, what do we do next? Then, maybe... Yeah, let's move this so if we have to see it with this one then we can there we are is it not is it hitting this the step it is i see um no yeah yeah ma. there we go I don't suppose we could place it here and let it see over there. Jammer! 
All right, now take everything back and go that go through the middle. All right, run back and forth with all the items of the game. Oh. 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 Okay, I need to jam one of these. I need to shield the other. Let's take the jammer in. Jam this one from over here so it's out of the way. Box goes here. And connector goes here. Connects to the red. Um, this one connects to the connector in the blue. And we place here to open that. Great. Yeah, we're good. This last one connects to the red connector. We take it up here and open the gate. Yeah. That was logically brain tingly, but uh, the amount of running back and forth took away from its funness. Almost there. Just a couple more puzzles. And then the statue puzzles. Alright, let's actually go into four this time. The big hassle. It is correct. It is a big hassle. Alright. Man, I don't know if I would... If I would um, voluntarily call my thing that's supposed to be fun a big hassle. We'll see if it's actually fun or if it's actually a hassle. So now in place this here. I mean here. Attached to here. I guess we didn't oh, also attached to here. Yeah. This here. And now we can take the connector. If we have to. I don't know where the exit is. There's a blue. What do we connect to that's blue? I mean, we can, we can pick it up and drop it here. Oh, something blue. So we should, oh yeah, that. <laughs> Shouldn't need this anymore, at least not yet. Okay. The blue has to go straight, so let's put that here. Um the red. Thank you, game, for reminding me of the mechanic of the puzzles, or of the, oops, <laughs> the mechanic of activating shields, uh, oh, put the gate in there, activating shields by touching them to other shields, now this one come back here, there, I don't think we'll actually need the, the laser, oh, we do actually need the laser, and I'm stuck. No, I'm not stuck. So this ha this one has to be open. So maybe then, I put it here. Barely touch that. And now, we should be able to put this one here. There we go.
Yes! I did it. I actually did it. Pretty cool, even if I say so myself. <laughs> and now I have to do the giant cube. But I can do this. Yes. Not yet. Five first. We gotta really impress that girl. The intruder. Logical first start. We've got a gravity -er. We have a fan that cannot be detached. We need this to be here to open this. Oh, we have a particle thing. We can open this. We could switch it out for the box. Probably want to. There's also gravity plating we could jump on. Right? This is gravity plating? Yeah, okay. It almost looked like texture in the light. Can this hit anything from here? There. Yay, a gravity -er. Now what? We can suck this thing over there. From in here, it's not going to be useful. Because we can't get it in here. So here's the end. We need to strike something blue. Um, can we grab, like, the box? Yeah, we should be able to... Uh, here we are. So we'll put this right here. All right, I missed the connector, which is what I intended. I have to put the box here. Suck the box out. And now we don't need this door anymore. Now we can put something else here, like the box. Do we need this open anymore? No. Where's the other gravity stuff? I saw another one. There's one. So, what can we do with this in here? We need to connect to a blue source. Oh. What's this attached to? It's a switcher for the button. Alright, if the fan's on, then it closes that. Okay. So, it looks like we need the box in here. Let's switch these around. Oh, it can't reach that from here. Hmm. Well, it looks like we need the box and the connector here so that I can float up. I can, I can float up when I'm standing on here. And then I let go and it gravity's the connector over there. Why does we want the connector to be over there? I guess we need the blue source, right? Where is this blue source? Here it is. Alright, there's that. Is there any other way to open this door? We do it with our feet. We do it with our feet. So, no, we have to do that with our feet. Do we? If we do this, then this, we stand here. We need that gravity to be on, which means we need to. To have the gravity -er pointing at it. But also, we need to be standing here. Because that's going to be too high. Pretty sure. Maybe not. Oh, no, no, no. It's not that it's too high. It's that there's a shield. There's a shield on there. All right.
There is another gravity spot here for some reason. Okay, so we want to get the item down. I guess if we put the wrong item over there, we want to get it down. Hmm. This has to be set up like this, because you can't blow an object that is not on top of a box with a fan. I can get myself out if I can lock myself in this zone. And I can put it there, but if I press this button, it doesn't stay. So it won't aim at it if I put it here. Is there more gravity stuff I haven't seen? Uh, wait a minute. Ha! Ah, I figured it out. Let's go. Yeah! Yay! That's cool. I like that. You think you know what all the pieces are doing and then you realize you can do something else. I did it, guys. Are you proud of me? Alright, so there's still a Pandora statue in the red that I can do and I haven't yet. There's also a Prometheus statue that I haven't done. All right, and then there's the giant cube and then I can get in here. All right, what shall we do? I was wondering if maybe I would beat the whole rest of the DLC, this DLC, this play session, but I've still got a lot to do, so I think probably not. I'm to the point in the playing that I'm feeling kind of tired, which means I've probably been playing for over an hour. I did all of the blue puzzles that we have access to. So yeah, maybe I've been playing like an hour and a half. Time to see what Prometheus is aiming at. Let's see if we can find his thing. We still f found no sign of the Sphinx, Sphinx pillars. Which way are you pointing, sir? This way. Something like this way. Probably not inside the puzzle, so we'll keep running until we find it. Maybe it's underneath something. Haven't done, really done the, all that much exploring down underneath things. I have seen this spot before. Well, maybe I'm not pointing in exactly the right direction. I thought I would just stumble across it. This is an interesting construction. A uh, little fun to walk around underneath everything and see this, see what it's made on. What about up there? Can we get up there? Well, here's one way to find out. Camera. Oops. Okay, so this is just up above the puzzle. We can see it. All right, no Prometheus in the puzzle. What's the down button? We get inside the wall. No surprise. Well, we could go to the lever if we can find our way back up again for the first time, for the sixth time. So we may have to go back to Prometheus and follow the direction, the beacon, directly.
Let's go. This does not look like the right first one. I'm too good. Okay, maybe we don't want the long one to be first. Hmm. I don't suppose we want the long one to go this way. Here we go. I saw I saw the reasoning in my brain before I I still can't the, the words are gone. But let's let's just say that I kind of knew what I was doing, only kind of. And then this one again was easy. Let's go. The hexahedron. <laughs> Exciting. The, the name that sounds so grandiose. It means cube. It means cube. Kind of like um the next rival team that they run into in Dragon Ball Z. It's the blah blah blah, and they're like, "Oh no, not the blah blah blah!" And it's like, "Yeah, we it doesn't mean anything, but it sounds intimidating." All right, well let's let's find Prometheus. Prometheus, where dost thou want me to go? Walk right up to the statue and then right in a run in a directly straight direction. We can even look at the angle of this beacon, probably. Uh, yeah, we can look at the angle of the beacon. Like this. And see exactly where it's pointing. Oh, that, that's hard to see. It's, it's not down. It's like directly straight, so it might not be on the ground. Uh, and it's straight toward that black obelisk. Which is probably just one of the things telling you what number the puzzle is. This thing right here. Alright, we're running toward that thing. Uh, run button. And yes, I am going off the trail. But I remember what I'm looking for. So, if I can... If I had three landmarks to uh, align myself, I could keep going in a straight line. So the obelisk is right up here. Right here. So the statue was pointing us in this direction. Where is it? I don't even see the statue. Oops! No! Gotta find my way back up for the first time, for the seventh time! I didn't know you could just walk over the railing. I walked over this thing, didn't I? Okay, where is the- is that the statue? Yeah. The statue comes right over here, passes this, and continues going that way. Is that it? Something blue. I don't think it's it. Oh, that's that's the golden puzzle. So it's it comes right past here. And I doubt we can get up here. And also I didn't see it, so it's probably not up there. So over here, around this side. I know it's on that island over there. Here it is. Here it is. And no no Phoenix posts. Let's go. 
Where'd it go? There it is. You know, I, I, I love adding a little bit of silliness to my creations. Not too much, just a sprinkle here and there. After all, the world is frequently a very silly place. And Athena tells me that even the simulation was full of strange and absurd sights. Francis Bacon put it best. There is no excellent beauty that hath not some strangeness in the proportion. And what could be sillier than a man named Bacon? I wonder which parts of our world are the creator's little jokes. <laughs> a little bit meta with the, the the game. Like we saw an Orpheus ascending a giant sandworm pop out of the desert. A reference to Sirius Sam, which is very serious and not at all silly. Alright, so now that all the gates are open, we should be able to get ourselves there, no problem. So we want... Is there a box somewhere? Is one of these a box? No, we can just take that one. Come down. Switch. Yes, that makes sense. Multi gravity. Let's go. I'm going to drop us out here. I always love a little bit of silliness. Most Let's Players do. And the ones who don't, maybe they're not fun to watch. Kind of hard to see. Where'd it go? We go back to the statue. Here it is. Words of wisdom of Yakut. When you care for what is outside, what is inside cares for you. <laughs> Oh, uh, wonderful advice for all the little children. All right, um, we have a Pandora statue left. No, we have two Pandora statues, which I'm assuming both involve going up here, because I have not found pillars for any of them. And we also have a Pandora statue. Wait. Isn't that what I just said? We have one Pandora statue and two Sphinx statues. I have not found the post for the Sphinx statue. The Pandora has a connector here. So let's look for greens in the red zone. I know we started doing this a while ago. But I got sidetracked on all the other things I was doing. We can also look for greens in other zones. Does this one have a green? I think the answer is no. And another one of these stat uh, structures. Nonsensical structures with cur corners and no curves. Alright, what about this one? This one has some green, right? Well, we can make green. Can we hit anything? Is there a fan? Is there is a box? Where is Pandora in relation to this puzzle? Over there. No, that's a sphinx. I don't even see her. Is she over here? Yeah. Alright, and the hill is right through here. So if we could get a laser to shoot through here. I don't think we can. 
Yeah, because that would require shooting through here, which we can't reach. So this is not the one. Unless we can see another puzzle from here. Are there more puzzles like up on top of hills or something? Can we see it from here? We go through... No. Can we get up on top of here? There's this puzzle. This one is green. Can we reach it? Can we... Ah, connector. Can we connect to anything though? Because Pandora's not this way, right? I'm turned around. Pandora's this way. So... Can we affect this at all? Can we like... Place anything up there? Like, if we... Oh, here's an idea. Is it green now? Oh, it's... It's red. How can we make it green? We can make it green. Uh, where should we put it? Where do we want to put it to make it green? Over there. If we go over there. Alright, now you're nothing. But we have a connector somewhere. Here. We can attach the blue here, and now we make it green. So we've got a green beacon up here. So if we can see this puzzle from another puzzle, and then throw the beam into the Pandora place. Oh yeah, that was right though. We wanted to... Oops. The reason we want to light this up is so that we can bounce it around. To Pandora. Let's try the bouncing around. Chris, why don't you talk about philosophy again? What philosophy should I talk about? How about, I have a little bit of a headache, so let's talk about the philosophy of pain. I think I've talked about the philosophy of pain for a while. Or in the past. So, when we're young, what is this? Some moss. When we're young, we think of pleasure is good and pain is bad, or we associate it that way. But then, we're like, okay, sometimes you have to give up some pleasure, or take some pain, to have some uh, greater, something greater in the future. Like, okay, we got that. Then, um, my personal journey took me to a place where I kind of believed that... Oh yeah, this place up here. Okay, let's get up there. I believed that um, experiencing pain was bad. Like, that's what bad was. Like, having bad things in your life was bad. And having good things in your life was good. And so then, whatever was in the past, that was like solidified in stone. So, like, you had a life that had a goodness and a badness that was, like, solidified up to where you were now, and you couldn't do anything about it. And so then I was like, my concept of morality was, okay, in the, for the present and the future, we need to eliminate as much badness as we possibly can, and we need to create as much goodness as we possibly can. Isn't there another tool in here? I'm missing it. Where is this tool? There's a box. I'm not looking for the box. I'm looking for the... the... Ref, re... rechanger. Whatever it is. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Alright, let us... Where's it... I was just at a blue... Where's a blue source? Way over here. How did I even do this? I don't remember. Man, the puzzle is solved and I can't get the tools back out. Well, anyway, the problem that I had was... My life was not great. I mean, it was, it was better... It was great in some ways, but there were a lot of things that I really wish had happened differently. 
And, you know, even though I was doing the best I could, the best I knew how to do, which was uh, not the best that I literally could, but you know how these are. Um, um, what if I just, I reset? Because I don't know if these items are in the right place. Hmm. Reset button. There we go. They should be in the right place because I reset the game. All right. And so I, it kind of drove me, it was one of the many things that drove me to depression, was this idea. And that is just where that is. This idea that suffering is bad and it should not exist. We should not allow it. How, how did this even work? How did this even work? I don't remember having trouble when the puzzle was unsolved. There's not another source that I'm gonna... Oh, here we go. Duh. So one of the ways that helped me get out of depression was to stop believing that I was a victim of my past and to accept the suffering that I felt, not that it was good or anything, but that it wasn't, it wasn't evil. And that has helped me to see suffering not as a punishment, not as a something that, not as bullying, but as something that I can learn from and become a better person by experiencing and paying attention to. So that's my philosophy of suffering. All right. Thank you for this. Now let's go to here and here and we cannot see that other puzzle from here I think no we can all right it is red but I don't know if the laser will go through these trees to let us see the green all right now we got to go back and set that one up again because I reset and didn't need to, it's okay. All right, back in here. Euclidean pallet. All right, if I block, if I put this here, will it block this one? No, I don't think we can block this one. I can block it with myself. Actually, yeah, let's just block it with myself. That's all we need, right? Ha 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 ha! That felt clever. I'm sure we could have just put it over there and then that would have solved it just fine. Probably would have been intended. But I like... I like being clever. Solving things through cleverness. We didn't even need the one on the rock. Maybe we can use it for something else. Yeah, this one. What do you have to say? Today is born the seventh one. Born of Robot, the seventh son. And he in turn of a seventh son. He has the power to repair. He has the gift of the upgraded sensors. He is the chosen one. So it shall be written. So it shall be done. Nice. Is that a parody of something? <laughs> All right, we've got two more Pandora statues, but I don't know where the posts are. So we'll save those. Um, I'm going to go up into here. We have to solve this before we get into the gold puzzles. Oh yeah, so... Um, no, I will wait to solve this until I have 
more brain power because I've been playing this for a long time. If this is the end of an episode, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Talos Principle 2 DLC and other awesome games. I'll see you next time!